Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and today's video is going to be about Corel X and or 17. I really think 17, I'm using 17 right now, so I've never used 8, but I've been doing enough research, and I, this is in 8, so you can definitely do it. I think the only difference is 17, they've refined a few things, but this is about your screen appearance, and they've made it a lot easier to make, and it's not totally perfect in my opinion, but they made it where you can make your icons bigger uh, up here and also down here. But just go to Tools, Options, and go under Workspace and go to Appearance. And right now we're at 100%. Now when you do something like this, you need to look. My last tool that I have on my toolbar is my Smart Fill tool. Because you can make it so big that that could disappear. So let's make it a little bit bigger and my smart field tool just is, you know, goes away. So you can't have it too big. This is pretty cool. I like it. And um, if you don't click OK, you don't get, you don't save it. So let's go back, bump it up a little bit. We're at 125%. Put OK. I mean, you can see everything like lot better your uh, well let's just look at something your lock they've improved the lock ratio and made the lock look where you can tell it a lot better that it's locked or unlocked even when it's smaller that was one problem I had with the other versions of Corel Draw and you can always just reset to default so in default I can tell that that locks locked a lot better now, another thing you could do inside, and, and this isn't that big a deal, it would just be personal preference, but you can change the theme of your whole screen by going to medium, going to dark, and actually going to black, and then hit OK. I don't really see the advantage in it. Uh, it does give a good effect, and it kind of makes your, um, well, let's see if we can back out of here and get our page. It kind of makes your page kind of stand out a little bit more, um, you know, versus your tools. And, you know, you can see, uh, you know, your zero, zero. It's it's really, to me, it's not quite as sharp. But you could go back to tools and options. And let's bump it up to one 125 and hit OK. And in the black, now you can see a little bit clearer. You know, you can do that. You can change not only black you can let's put it back to light and you can change the window border to yellow that's a pretty cool effect you could also just x out of there and, and change the whole desktop to a color of your choice anyway just thought i'd share that hope that helped a little bit thank you for watching